G'day taxpayers, Ed here. In this video, I'm going to give you a tax tip on how employees who relocate for work purposes can make these costs tax deductible. Right, okay, well employees who relocate for work purposes are not entitled to a tax deduction for their relocation expenses and their airfares. They're deemed to be a private expense. Now these costs can be very expensive, you know, like ten to twenty thousand dollars. And as I said, they are generally non-tax deductible. So, how can we make these costs tax deductible? Okay, this is how we do it. Under the Fringe Benefit Tax Act, there is an exemption from fringe benefits tax for an employer who pays and reimburses their employees for their relocation expenses. In addition, the employer gets a tax deduction for the relocation costs and they can claim a GST input tax credit on the payment as well. For the employee to effectively make these relocation expenses tax deductible, they need to enter into a salary sacrifice arrangement with their employer. Now this involves the employee having their gross annual wage reduced by the amount of the relocation costs. And the employer then pays the relocation costs directly to the people that did the relocation or they reimburse the employee for the reloca relocation costs that they've already paid. Here's an example of how it works. Jill is an engineer and she lives in Perth and she's just got a new job up in Port Hedland. Now her relocation cost to Port Hedland is $11,000 and Jill pays these costs out of her own pocket. Now, once starting work up at Port Helen, Jill salary sacrifices the $11,000 of expenses with her new employer. Now, what happens is the employer reduces Jill's gross wage in the first month by, by $10,000, not the $11,000, as the employer can claim back $1,000 as G GST input tax credits on those relocation expenses that were reimbursed. Now the employer then reimburses Jill the $11,000 relocation costs that she incurred. Now this results in no overall cost to the employer. At the top marginal rate of tax of 47%, this strategy would result in Jill saving $5,170 in tax, which is the tax that she would normally have paid on the $11,000 of salary income. Plus, she gets all her relocation costs reimbursed as well. How good is that?